Good morning friends. It gives me great pleasure to communicate with you this, through this Foxy Digital Initiative. And I am very happy to discuss today a very important topic of induction of labor. We all know that over years the indications of indication of labor are increasing. It is said that in developing countries, it's almost as high as 1 in 4. The WHO also took one global survey to see how actually it is happening over the world. And it has been realized almost 9.4% of the deliveries are after induction of labor. This actually the indications are increasing because there are so many new things we are thinking as indication to start the labor artificially. Either with the help of various drugs like prostaglandins or maybe with the help of uh, separating the membranes or rupturing the membranes. But one need to take a lot of care while doing induction of labor that we all know because it carries some risk of some complications like uterine hyperstimulus. It can cause uterine rupture rarely or it can cause fetal distress. The facilities where they have a good surveillance of the fetal and maternal well-being should always go for induction of labor and also the facilities where there is facility for cesarean section. We should see that these benefits must outweigh the risk involved in the induction of labor and the persons need to be very clear when to do it and when not to do it. I must say big thanks to our president Dr. Nandita Parshetkar for taking this digital initiative in her tenure. Thanks to Zadus Gandinex Division as well for giving this financial support and of course Doc Mode for giving us this chance to interact with you, discuss with you very important topic, topic of induction of labor. Thank you very much friends.